The Deputy Commissioner of Police has mentioned that they have gathered strong evidence in the passing of a 20-year-old Kenneth Jackson. The Deputy Commissioner has said that investigations are currently at an advanced stage and charges are expected to be laid soon. The police have detained a 50-year-old man in connection with the passing of Miss Kenneth Jackson. Miss Jackson, who is from Independence City in Portmore St. Catherine, went missing on Wednesday. She was found near a fishing beach on Dyke Road in Portmore on Friday morning. Based on information coming in, Miss Kenneth Jackson was a past student of the St. Andrew High School for Girls and worked as an accounting clerk up to the time of her passing. The Deputy Commissioner of Police along with the Prime Minister of Jamaica visited the home of Miss Kenneth Jackson and spoke with her parents. They have told family members that the police are confident in the evidence that they have gathered. They have also mentioned that what they are willing to assure is that the investigation is at a well-advanced stage and based on where they are now, they are confident that justice will be served. It was further mentioned that they recovered some of Miss Jackson's property. They know how the incident happened and they have discovered some additional things that point to how it happened and they have an idea as to when it also occurred. In response to the family's criticism of the police's conduct in relation to the missing persons report that was filed for Miss Jackson on Wednesday, the Deputy Commissioner of Police disclosed that an investigation has been launched into whether the police followed the necessary protocols in their treatment of the report. Prime Minister Andrew Holness also assured the family that the process which took place would be reviewed. He said that he is particularly concerned that the family members have raised the issue regarding response time of the police officers. But as a general principle, they are going to review the internal processes. Already they have a new policy whether or not that policy has filtered down to the administrative staff that's something that they need to correct. It can't be in the future that any police officer is dismissive of the public or treat lightly any report for someone that is reported missing and is potentially in danger. Former Prime Minister of Jamaica Bruce Golden has been hospitalized. Based on reports coming from his daughter Shireen Golden Campbell, the former Prime Minister was admitted for a recurring health condition. Bruce Golden is currently under observation at the Tony Twist Wing of the University Hospital of the West Indies. It is expected that he will be returned to his home soon once his health indicates that it is satisfactory for him to return home. It was also mentioned that Mr. Golden and the family are thankful for the support and well wishes for his speedy recovery from the Jamaican populace. In January, Bruce Golden was also hospitalized. He was released after a series of tests and medical examinations. The San Andrew North Police are seeking the public's assistance with an ongoing case. Detectives are currently investigating a case where someone took some property that did not belong to them. This incident occurred along Constant Spring Road in San Andrew in the vicinity of Mary Brown's Corner and they have CCTV footage of the incident. The man that is seen in the video is seen entering someone's car forcefully. It is further reported that approximately $500,000 was stolen in the incident which occurred at 9.43 a.m. on Wednesday, March 17th. Investigators are now appealing to persons who may be able to provide assistance to them in an effort to identify and or locate the individual that is seen in the video. They are being encouraged to make contact immediately using the 924-1421 number. Persons are also encouraged to call the 311 number or the 119 or visit the nearest police station. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the new developments that have been expressed in this session. What are your opinions on the information coming out that our former Prime Minister Bruce Golden has been hospitalized once again. Of course, we wish him a speedy recovery and we hope that all of his health checks 
will be returned with positive news. Of course, what of the new developments surrounding the passing of Miss Canice Jackson? What are your opinions in regards to the police stating that they have strong evidence and that they are well aware of the situation that occurred and they are aware of the time frame and all the necessary things that may have gone down that led to the passing of Miss Candice Jackson? Of course, we would like to extend our condolences to the family of Miss Jackson and her friends as well. Of course, remember to remain vigilant and alert at all times. There should never be a moment that you let your guard down. Of course, we can only hope for the best. We hope that the family will learn to cope with her absence and her passing. And of course, we hope that they will surround themselves with love and that they will focus on the good memories that they shared with Kenneth Jackson. Take care of yourself and goodbye.